afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got a nice Class A diesel motor home we're going to review today. Uh, another great brand that I love shooting, and that's a Fleetwood Bounder. And this is a Fleetwood Bounder diesel. A 2006 Fleetwood Bounder 38L. And this is a 38-foot, 4-inch long total length. And it's got four slide-outs on it and only 36,000 miles. Um, I've got to do one thing to it, guys. You know, you probably tell from the picture. It's got some clear coat issues on the front. They've had a bra on it. Um, and I guess it's just beat up the paint over the years. So I ain't want to have my paint guy do something with all that and a little bit over the windshield too. The rest of it looks great on the outside. That's the only downfall to it. And next time he comes out, I'll have him put this on the list. But this Bounder built on a Freightliner chassis. It's got the uh, 7.2 liter Caterpillar Cat Turbo Diesel. The C7, in my opinion, that and the ISB Cummins is two of the most dependable diesel motors I've ever put into a Class A diesel. Because of all the hundreds, maybe even thousand or two that we've had with them, we have very rarely have any issues with them. And this one's no exception. No check engine lights, runs great. We just drove it down from uh, uh, Northern Tennessee, so. But good looking motor home, guys, besides that front end, which we're gonna take care of for that low price. Four slides, 300 horsepower, which I know it's not a 400 horse or 500 horse, but it's not priced for one either. I promise you 860 pound feet of torque will take you down the road 70, 75 miles an hour all day long. And it still has a 10,000 pound tow capacity. So, you know, diesels aren't like gas motors. Don't let horsepower scare you. Look at the torque. In other words, I could take this 300 horsepower bounder, pull it up next to a red light next to a V10 with 362 horsepower and run off and leave it from a dead stop. The only time horsepower really kicks into play is, you know, a, a 330 or a 350 may run four or five miles an hour faster top end on the interstate, but you always go by your torque, not your horsepower, because you don't need to be running that fast on these things anyway. Four slides all have awning toppers, got a 7,500 Onan diesel generator that runs great. I've got it hooked into shore power, 50 amp shore power. Tires look good. It's got the air suspension, double furnaces, double roof air. It's got the washer and dryer. Very close to that pole right there, but not touching. And just looking around it, I mean, once I get that front fixed, guys, it, it, it'll really be in nice, nice condition. 36,000 miles, not even broken in yet for that C7 Caterpillar. And uh, windshields look great. Got the air horn, air suspension, air brakes, six-speed Allison transmission. Got all the right equipment. Let's just say that. Of course, Fleetwood's exclusive power platform, which gives you full pass-through storage without raising the overall height of the RV. And they've had that for a long time. 20th anniversary edition, guys. The Bounder, which is still built today, came out in 1986. That's a long run. Of course, you know, they are the best-selling Class A motorhome of all time. And it's not because of price, because these things are not cheap. New, trust me. And as we look inside... Uh, seats look great. Leather seats, the flex steel, the best. 36,000 miles and change. Got a backup camera that works great. Air horn works. <laughs> 36,000. 814 miles, no check engine lights, no warning lights, six disc CD changer original built into the dash. Um, it's got the engine retarder, what they call a Jake brake. Of 
got the power visor that comes down got the curtain that goes all the way around the dash area so for privacy when you're parked at night um it got the jewelry start you got your defrost fans you can see the camera working uh looks like somebody's put a sound bar and upgraded the television this is nice i love these old bounders guys it's just these things are classic and this is back before rev group and all that bought fleetwood this was back when fleetwood was the company that john crean senior actually built and the quality of these things and you know i know the newer ones have got more technology in them and uh, you know lighter weight material and all that good stuff and and that yeah that may be better in some ways but these old bounders were built to last i mean they really were they are they're very well built very high build quality 84 inch tall interior ceiling height seven foot tall leather furniture uh this makes a bed this is just a single sofa that uh, uh, I guess you could sleep one short person on. Got a table booth that makes a bed. So this thing can sleep six people, seven people. So you got pretty close to the same sleeping capacity of a Class C. Uh, solid hardwood cabinetry. Got the tough ply roof system like all Fleetwoods do, which the tough ply is like a, it's basically a TPO roof, but it's 33% thicker. So, you know, they've got a really good roof system, um, Fleetwoods do. No smoke or pet odors, no mildew odors, no signs of water damage, soft spots, wrinkled spots, anything that I can see anywhere. You've got the upgrade four-door refrigerator freezer, the RV one, which is, we guarantee to work. And it's clean, not been a live-in unit. Got a ton of service records, too, inside the, in there with the paperwork. Fre freezer's actually already getting cold, so I can honestly tell you it works. You've got real solid surface Corian countertops, three burner stove top, microwave, convection oven looks like somebody has changed most of the bulbs out with leds let's see this should have a little pop out extender here yep it comes out pretty good big gives you a little extra storage place to put your coffee maker or whatever kitchen appliances you want to use like an air fryer or whatever you just want to make sure that's locked in place before you take off and um going toward the back got a large walkthrough bathroom with a glassed in garden shower bright white which tells me this thing hasn't spent a lot of time out in the elements because especially an 06 model guys if this thing's stored outside uncovered all the uv rays coming through this coming through that skylight for the past 16 years um would bleach this shower a bright yellow so the fact that it's not yellow it's bright white tells me that it hasn't spent a lot of time outside when not being used and vanity area medicine cabinet it's got the washer and dryer combo right here which i know a lot of people don't need but if you need one, that saves you a couple of grand buying a motor home with it already in it. Got a private water closet that opens up. That makes a privacy barrier between the front and uh, the back. And you got an actual China RV toilet instead of the plastic one. A uh, little extra storage in here. Fantastic vents fan to vent the bad smells out on taco night. Uh, <laughs> step to the back. You got a queen, east-west queen island bed. And you step to the front. And uh, you've got a bench style, I guess, seat. I mean, you could actually probably sleep somebody there if you really wanted to. Um, sliding glass door. There's your small television. This, this actually comes straight out. 
if I can do this one-handed, it'll come out and swivel so you can watch the TV a little bit bigger angle. I mean, of course, if you wanna watch a lot of TV, I'd probably put one a little bigger than that in there, but uh, you get the idea. And this should be a cedar line closet knowing a bounder. Yep, got the cedar lining on the side. Pretty good storage, got some racks back there. Uh, books, manuals, service records, all that are right here in this drawer, which is filled up. Looks like the original bedspread. Looks to be in good shape. You got nightstands. Uh, cool feature is you actually got a generator start and stop switch right here. So uh, this is a little before they had the auto start feature that you could get in the newer ones. So power goes out, you just reach over there and crank that generator up and you'll have power in just a few seconds. Sliding door for privacy to separate the bedroom area for the rest of the RV or if you want to completely isolate the bathroom. You know, you got two sets of opposing slides, but they're designed so when they're both in, you still have full access to everything except here in the bedroom, some of the uh, drawer space underneath that, whatever you call this, bench or whatever. Even my thing's about six foot long, like I said, you could sleep somebody on it. And you can still use the main bed. Yeah, these old bounders, guys. I've sold them many of these things. These things are very, very nice. Look at the huge crown molding in it. Just little touches like that, they don't do anymore. Uh, found another fantastic vent fan. It does have the Max Air covers. Leather seats look great. All the original lighting's in here. You know, it looks like they did put this linoleum floor in it sometime in the past 16 years, but that's not really a bad thing. Um, I don't believe. I like it, guys. 69.9. And, of course, even though this thing's priced very, very affordable compared to other units online in the NADA, we still guarantee the following systems for that 69.9 price. <clears throat> we guarantee the slide outs, all four of them, to go in and out like they're supposed to. Guarantee the generator to run and put out electricity like it's supposed to. We guarantee both ducted roof airs to get cold. And we guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to get to operating temp. Um, that, and, of course, that it'll go down the road and shift and drive like it's supposed to. So, you know, everything else and stop, obviously. <laughs> that would kind of suck. But <laughs> we drove this thing down. Did great. We drove it. Didn't drive it a ton, but we drove it about 250 miles, so it did pretty good. Or 200 miles, more than likely. Um, and, of course, everything else is sold as is. That's how we keep our prices so low. And, uh, you know, you're welcome to come in, do your own inspection of it before deciding to buy it. Or you're also welcome to hire a third-party inspection service. Not many dealers will say that, but we, we do welcome them here, guys. Because, like I said, we got them priced, and that's what we cover. That way you don't have to wait months for your RV. It's if it gets here and all that stuff works, it's you can take it home the same day if you pay for it with certified funds. Uh, as far as downside, the only thing I've seen, which is pretty common with with a lot of RVs of that of this era, that you got some cloudy windows. You can see out of them all right, but what happens is these are dual pane windows that they used to use in these. And over the years, that rubber seal, their nitrogen field, and that rubber seal starts leaking. Uh, and it leaks oxygen into that window and oxygen meets the nitrogen it fogs up the glass um, It can be fixed and there's you there's videos on YouTube, but it's very labor-intensive uh, So I'm not uh, I just sell them when they have this I just sell them like they are You know you can see out the drivers and the passenger side of window and the windshield That's the important thing everything else, you know, you're fine um and I'm just, and it's really not that bad, but I'm just pointing out anything that I see that you might need to know about before coming down here to look at it. Uh, other than that, guys, I mean, for an 06, this thing, especially when I get that front end painted, is is extremely nice motorhome for what it is, the price, the year model. It's a great brand. I mean, a fleet. You can't go wrong with a Bounder. 
it's just one of those brands that um, it just really stands the test of time and and be honest with you i seriously doubt a 2022 bounder when it gets to be 16 years old in 2038 is going to look near as good as this 2006 does today in 2022 i just I'm, i may be wrong hopefully i'll be around to, to prove it but <laughs> um but i just don't see these new ones holding up like these do so uh, who knows what used rvs are going to be in the future by that time heck it might be all new because the, the, the new ones don't hold up much longer than what it takes to pay them off or the warranty period actually they don't even care about that they just want them to last a warranty period on these new ones but anyway if you've got questions about this bounder give us a call at 706-965-7929 call before we're coming to look make sure it's available uh, before traveling any distance you may even want to consider leaving a deposit on if you're coming a long distance uh, if you want to go to my website i'll put a link in the video description below to it you can see my current selection of class a got a lot of them that just came in i got a discovery that just came in another bounder that just came in uh, country coach they're getting ready to bring around that's going to be really reasonably priced diesel um i've got some nice stuff got a couple tag axles on the way in um plenty of class a's gas and diesel that i haven't even posted online yet so go to my website link in the video description below see what i got posted if you don't see what you're looking for it really pays to either come out if you're close enough to come out and look or call one of my salespeople and say hey uh, i'm looking for this floor plan and this size motor home with a gas or diesel this price range what have you got that's not online and if we have one like you're looking for, we can tell you about it. They guys can send you pictures. If not, leave them your phone number, your name, and what you're looking for. And as many of these things as we buy and sell, we're going to get one in. Unless you're just really looking for something oddball, we'll, we'll definitely get one in. And they can call you, say, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, just got the one you was in. I, I'm going to send you some pictures. Let me And here's the price. Condition report. Let me know what you want to do. And you get a chance to buy it before it hits online. I had a really, and I was really looking forward to shooting this one too, guys. And they sold it. Um, had a American Dream come in, a diesel, like we sold for like sixty grand, and it just came in. And people, of course, my salespeople got got in their notebooks with everybody's name and number, called the ones that were looking for something like that, and sold it in an hour after it got here. Never even got to shoot a, a video on it, which kind of sucked because I really like shooting those. And it, it, it's a, it was a Fleetwood as well, but just an upgrade. So uh, that's why it really pays to leave your information with us so we can contact you when one comes in like you're looking for. And we're not like Rip Off World that sells all their phone numbers and customer information out to third-party uh, solicitors that call you and bug you and text you and all that. We don't do that, guys. If we call you, it's not we just call because we got what you're looking for in. We don't call you to do surveys and and call you about, hey, you know, come in today and you get a, a week's worth of free camping or whatever. We we don't do any of that stuff, guys. We don't do marketing like that. If we call you, it's because we got something like you want in. So don't be afraid to leave your information with us. We're not going to bug you. And same way with emails. I don't understand people. They, they leave an email, but they won't leave a phone number because they're worried about that, I guess. I don't know. And you can certainly email us, my guys. But keep in mind, emails have pretty much low priority over phone calls and customers on the lot. So don't expect an immediate response. If you do want them, please leave your number in the email because it's so much more efficient for them to call you back or text you than it is to uh, read and write emails back and forth. That's such a very time consuming, and it's a lot more efficient ways to communicate. Let's just say that. And, um, but thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out this 06 Bounder 38L, four slides, 36,000 miles, 300 cat, great shape. We're gonna get that front end painted. Uh, might cost us about thousand twelve hundred dollars, but it'd be well worth it. Um, Sixty nine nine haggle free firm. Doesn't matter how far away you come to buy it or how you pay for it. That's the price. Of course, I told you what we guaranteed for that price. Um, 
We offer financing with approved credit and down payment. We have nationwide delivery available for $1.50 one way, loaded mile. And we also offer, um, uh, we take trade-ins and more. So if you're interested in it, best thing you can do is pick up the phone, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Now, stay tuned for some more videos I've got coming up later today, guys. I'll try to do one more, maybe two more, depends on how time goes. Um, but I do let, definitely recommend taking a look at this one. If this is in your price range and the floor plan you're looking for, I think this is a pretty solid choice. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.